gosh. I quit. I quit this job. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, we are just gonna start this video out with a big whopping wow. Yes, this is gonna be a wow moment. This Bolo is huge. And wait until you hear the story. It's even better. Thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies. And this is my Facebook group. I posted share your best August bolo and the members of the group, they delivered and you guys are going to see some big money bolos in this video. I'm going to tell you where they got it, what they paid for it and what it sold for. This first one, like I said, wow. And it comes from Farm Girl Scavenger Noelle. This is her YouTube channel. If you're not following her, I suggest you go down right now to the description and subscribe to her because her YouTube channel is a wealth of knowledge. She is a mega bolo finder. She said, I found this bracelet while helping a friend clean out an abandoned storage unit. They wanted the furniture and I got free pick of anything else. I took a bit of, re I'm sorry, it took a bit of research and I priced it high. I had many messages from people who knew the maker and finally one of them offered me $2,100. Yes, $2,100, which she accepted. They were all in for $2,319.10. Um, that paid to have it shipped two-day UPS. Yesterday, the buyer messaged me and said they were so happy and they thanked me. She said, oh, my heart. Um, it is a vintage 1950s Art Lewis co Cocktail Sterling Turquoise Cuff Bracelet. Look at it. Just look at it. Also acquired in a free abandoned storage unit. This is also from Farm Girl Scavenger Noel. It was gross and dirty. I washed it by hand in the sink and let it dry. Fluffed it up. Took a small flat iron. Oh, wow, she really got crazy with this. Curling iron to the satin ribbon, and there you have it. It sold for $44.99, full price, and they were all in for $55.88. Buy the weird stuff or get it for free. Mostly have the open-mindedness to see the diamond in the rough and make it sparkle. Uh, this is awesome. It is a vintage 70s A&W Whoopit, Weepoo, Weepoo, Whoopy, what is happening? Orange googly eye fuzzy pom pom soda advertising. All right, what did she call it? She called it a whoop it, a weeple, and a whoopee. Did she make these words up or is this what this thing is called? <laughs> Wowza. Somebody said, I have some of these somewhere. Time to dig. I bought a toy lot in an online auction of a mini. My Little Pony, uh, a square, oh, I can't say this word, Esquestrian, Esquestrian, I forget it, uh, girls, for $1.27, I can't say it, I just, I'm not even gonna try it, Esquestrian, is that how you say it? Equestria, Equestria? Maybe it's not the word I'm thinking of, or maybe they have it spelled wrong, I don't know what's happening, but anyway, uh, it sold for $36, but to my surprise, there was a belt buckle in, a lo in the lot. I didn't even know about that and sold it for $110. What a happy surprise. So she bought some toys and this buckle was in it and she sold it for $110. Barry oh, Kieselstein cord silver celestial... <laughs> Gosh, I quit. I quit this job. Sun belt buckle. Sorry, guys. Another My Pet Monster Bolo found in a free box at a local thrift store and listed for $159 on eBay. It sold for best offer of $130 within 24 hours. If you find these with the cuffs or the cuffs themselves for any My Pet Monster, that's a cha-ching. So vintage My Pet Monster Yiplet. Amtoy 1987 plush. There it is. I have never seen him. He is funny looking. P. 
Piece of Scrap, Boa Buddies member. Here's her YouTube channel. Another awesome clothing bolo. Uh, let's see. Paid $375 at the Goodwill. Sold for $139 shipped on Mercari. It's reverse weave champion sweatshirt. Yeah, some champion items go for big money. Um, another person who has sold a lot of champion items that sold for big money is the Cha-Ching King. If you're not following him, he is fantastic. He also has a lot of videos for people who are beginners learning how to sell on eBay, like tutorials. Uh, check out the Cha-Ching King. This is his YouTube channel and I'll link him down below as well. So Champion Reverse Weave Sweatshirt, University of Michigan, Pullover Large Vintage. And Piece of Scrap is awesome as well, and she will be linked down below. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member, Got Junk in Our Trunk. And she is a moderator of the Facebook group, so go over to her YouTube channel, subscribe to her, and tell her thank you, because I will tell you this Facebook group is massive, and it is a lot of work. And she is fantastic. And her what sold videos, you are definitely going to learn. Purchased a pile of jewelry at a yard sale for $20. Costs far less than a dollar per piece. These were one of three pairs of Christian Dior clip-on earrings. In the purchase, they sold for a best offer of $59.41 plus international shipping. The other two pairs have sold for comparable amounts, all sold within a week of listing. Christian Dior clip-on earrings, gold tone pave crystal, half hoop, wedding vintage and that's what they look like i am a newbie here and this is my best sale ever i found this at a local thrift shop for five oh my goodness for five dollars and 99 cents started the auction at 229 after searching worth worth point and my first two offers were 250 and 400 i knew i had something but not this much it sold on auction for one thousand five hundred and eighteen dollars and the buyer has paid. Congratulations. That is awesome. It's a McCarty Pottery Vintage Grouse, G-R-O-U-S-E, Bird Marigold. Wow. That's amazing. Hopefully three is a charm since I have tried and failed to list this twice before. I'm not tech savvy at all. I bought a bag of vintage Super Balls like my kids had in the 80s and 90s. The kind you get in the gumball machine. I paid four, $4 for the bag of 17. I split them up into six lots and they sold to one buyer for a total of 85 in less than two weeks. And she bought them at the Goodwill. Okay, let's see what we got here. I'm really gonna have to get close. Vintage rubber, super balls, bouncy balls, abstract colors, geometric. Okay, you guys, they're vintage bouncy balls. They're bouncy balls. Get out of town. Bouncy balls. I think I have some bouncy balls in my money pile. I do. I think I do. This one comes from The Quiet Thrifter, and she is also a Bolo Buddies member, and I have featured her store a couple times on the channel where I go in and do a deep dive into her sold specifically because she is a Bolo finder and she sells really cool stuff that I don't buy. So type in Bolo Buddies, The Quiet Thrifter, and you can find those videos. She said, I bought this fun chicken button art at Goodwill for $6.99. At the time, I just thought it was adorable and I planned to uh, put it in my vendor booth. When I started researching, I discovered that this is a piece done by a well-known artist. And her pieces sell in the hundreds. I listed it on eBay and it sold within a month for full asking price of $375 plus shipping. It is Mary Teeter, button art, even the big chicken has to deliver the eggs, 2003. This one also comes from the Quiet Thrifter. I bought this adorable teapot at the Salvation Army for $9.78. I couldn't believe it wasn't damaged. It took about a month to sell and I took a best offer of $99 and the buyer paid shipping. It's a rare 1996 Royal Albert Old Country Roses Paul Cardew Garden Gnome Teapot. And we've got one more from the Quiet Thrifter. I found this vintage Esprit I believe it's pronounced Esprit. That's correct. I, now, I only know that because that was around when I was kind of in that era or that age group that was wearing this brand. <laughs> so, yes, Esprit. 
mini canvas tote in a free box. Being an 80s lady myself, it was a blast from the past for sure. I listed it high and sold it in a few days for $65 for full asking price and buyer paid shipping. So it's a little canvas bag. I normally wait until the end of the month, but I sold these so fast and used go, wait, hold on, and used go just as high. Oh, okay, so this one is new with tags, but they're saying that the used items can go just as high. $50 each times four with one left. Picked up in a pallet last year at about $3 each. Collars and Co. Dress Collar Polo Shirt, Men's 2XL Black. There you have it. Huh. Never heard of that brand. So she sold four of them for 50 each. Nina's Jewels. This one comes from Nina's Jewels. She is also a Bolo Buddies member, and this is her YouTube channel. She'll be linked down below. Paid $1 for this at a thrift store. It is a quilt square of the month pattern set that creates a complete quilt. They are sold as loose leaf pages, one quilt square per page, and someone put each page in a sleeve protector and binder, making it hard to see what it was. I researched this brand and a full quilt pattern set sells for around 90. We sold ours for a best offer of 95, 98 within a couple weeks of listing. Homestead Hearth Civil War Tribute Quilt Pattern Block of the Month Program. How cool is that? Wow, nice pickup. This one comes from Bolo Buddies member YouTube channel. I'm a resell it. And this is what his YouTube channel looks like. He is a Bolo finder. Definitely check him out. I bought this from a flea market in Vegas and paid 15. I bought a few other car accessories from that vendor. And this was the first to sell. It took about a month to sell and I got 375 with free shipping. Keep an eye out for original car audio equipment. 374.95 2014 Ford F150 Raptor Dash Radio Information. I'd be looking at that like that. What is that? My husband would be like, I know what that is. <laughs> so for all of you out there that know car parts, they can be a bolo. Purchased this married set for $30 at an estate sale. Come home and listed it. Three hours later, I accepted a best offer of $480. It was originally listed for $550. Vintage Trafari Egyptian Rival Squash Blossom Turquoise Gold Tone Necklace Set. Wow. Beautiful. I grabbed this ceramic Precious Moments ornament in a box at the Goodwill Bins last month. Half off day, so maybe 30 into it, 30 cents into it. I didn't think it would be worth much, but looked up comps when I got home and was very surprised. I listed it for 49 and sold today on Mercari for 40 plus shipping. Precious Moments 2020, Baby's First Christmas. Baby's First Christmas. I know so many of you are like, why would I pick up Baby's First Christmas from years in the past? Well, because people break them and they're very sentimental to them and they want a replacement, and people buy them, and they will pay up for them. So um, vintage, discontinued, retired, ornaments, baby's first Christmas, first birthday, those different things, they do sell. Definitely look them up. On my way to the checkout at the Goodwill Bins half off day, I grabbed this bag thinking it was related to Magic the Gathering. When I got home, I found out it was the Magic Quest. I couldn't find much information on them and not many comps. So I was going to list at $8.99 each, but I saw one high comp. So I decided at 20 each. I have 14. I have, I sold one in two hours. I sold four. Edit. I sold four in two hours. So I raised the price and we'll see what happens. Magic Quest Ice Arrow Ruin of Achieving. 20 bucks each. Four of them in two hours at 20 bucks each. So I don't know what they raised the price to, but I probably would have done the same. Found at the Goodwill, paid $7.99, sold for $85 plus shipping. It sold five minutes after posting. Rare RSVLTS, the Roosevelt's button-up shirt, short sleeve, men's uh, large, black. And then it says 24K dot, dot, dot. So I don't know what the rest of it is. Never heard of that brand. It's obviously a bolo if it sold in five minutes after listing. 
I purchased this brooch and a lot of jewelry from a garage sale for a dollar. So I have a best at best 10 cents into it. Sold on auction for $48.70. It is a Florenza vintage topaz rhinestone and pearl gold tone brooch pin Victorian. And this is what it looks like. Bought for $9.99 at a thrift store. Sold in a week. Best offer of 180 plus shipping. It's a vintage cultured pearl display life cycle oyster shell shadow box frame Japan. Huh. This is what it looks like. Bought for $6.99 and sold in a day for asking of $99.99 plus shipping. I only buy camouflage Carhartt or double knee. They usually always go quick. Carhartt Realtree camo jeans vintage um, dungaree fit. There you go. Hi, Courtney. This month I sold a Jonathan Outer Poppers jar. It is only about six inches high. It sold for $493 on eBay. I paid $5 at a flea market. Thanks for all your videos. My eBay store is Fortune 88. I do not have a YouTube channel. And it's a Jonathan Outer or Adler, I'm sorry, Poppers canister jar, red and white. And this is what it looks like. Bought this rare 2011 eastbound and down Kenny, Ro Kenny Powers, I almost said Kenny Rogers, Kenny Powers bobblehead at a local Goodwill for $3.29. Started the auction price at $49.99 and sold for $51. Not a huge sale, but a quick bread and butter sale. Keep an eye out for this rare bobblehead worth more in the box. Eastbound and down Kenny Powers riding jet ski bobblehead. Very rare. This is what it looks like. Garage sale, 25 cents. Best offer of 800. What? Garage sale, 25 cents. Best offer of 800. Yeah, I just said that. It is an unpunched box of 1966 Topps Green Hornet sticker lot. New old stock. Unbelievable. Watch for more, more videos. There's going to be quite a few this month. August has been good to you all. Congratulations on your sales. Thank you all so much for sharing. I appreciate it very much. Um, Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Be sure to leave me a comment down below. And let me know what was your favorite bolo. Thanks for watching.